All right, uh, I was able to find uh, a pretty cheap display um, for forty dollars. So, and it was uh, here in Florida, in the United States, right? So, uh, maybe it's a good, maybe it's a good one. I don't know. The other one lasted me a couple decades. If this one lasts me a couple decades, I'll outlive it. So, <laughs> that'll be okay. Um, let's see here. First thing we have to do is desolder this one. All right, so I've got my got my desoldering tool here, and let's go to town on it. See if we can't get all these all these desoldered. How did we do? I'm gonna have to push on the legs a little bit, see if they're see if they're disconnected or not. You can feel them kind of break loose. Uh, at least some of them did. And I think. Hopefully we can get this off without too much trouble. That one seems kind of tight. We can go back, loosen some up that don't cooperate. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Got one side out. That's a good sign. So we can get this side out. I think this is loose up here and over here. I think we have a troublemaker. It's always a troublemaker in the group. That's okay. Let's see if we can get these going. go. I think we got it. Yep. So, what kind of dates does this have on it? It says 84 510. I think that's what it says. Got kind of bad handwriting. And this one, this one says Nothing. This one says Samsung. And this one says some Chinese name. Chen. Chen. Zhejiang. Zhejiang I don't know. Something like that. Anyway, this is an official Samsung one, so maybe it's. Maybe it's better. Samsung SSVD. Interesting. All right, let's see if we can't. Get the new Samsung in here and uh, get all of those pins and all of those holes. Might be might be some trouble, but we will give it a shot. Wait a minute, there's a that hole is not completely open. Why is that hole not completely open? There we go. Something in the hole. I think we need some tweezers here. Let's put this old display over here. So if I can't, oh, there we go. So they fell right in. So I think they just need to be a little bit spaced out. There we go. It's 
So that side's in. So let's hold that side in while we try to get this side in. Quite know why it's not. It's kind of like picking a lock. I don't know if you guys watch the lock picking lawyer, he's on my watch list of YouTube channels. Yeah, this is just not. I wanted to go in. What's holding him up? Why is he not going in? There we go. Got it picked. <laughs> All right, so holding the bottom in and holding the other parts in, I need to get these guys in. And those guys have already come out, so definitely like picking a lock. Oh, there we go. Got it all, except this guy decided he wasn't going to go in. So I have to pull this back out a bit, put him in the hole. Everybody else is cooperating except for him. He had to be the troublemaker. Oh, oh. Now it's this one. Go in the hole. There we go. I think I got everybody. Looking good. Looking good. Oh, I forgot to heat up my soldering iron. Let me do that. Make sure he's in right side up. <laughs> That'd be bad, wouldn't it? And I probably should have looked at the rest of this board while I had that off, but I didn't because I'm an idiot. Too excited to put the new display in, but I think that's about the only thing that could go wrong on this. And there's one tantalum in there. Well, it is what it is. This is going to go... This is going to get soldered down because... because I want to. I wanted to go in. Let's see if I can't. Put a couple solder blobs down to hold this while I. There's that one. Let's go over here. And. Go over to the side, put down a solder blob. So if I can get a blob of solder and stick it on there, just hold it. There we go. So I think I can now solder it down. I was surprised. There were actually quite a few of these displays for sale on eBay. Um, and for pretty cheap money, you know. 40, about $36 to $45 kind of was a... You can get a lot of them for that price. Most of them are coming out of uh, China, though. So I wasn't too excited about going that route. So, I found somebody in the States. And, uh, 
happy to see a Samsung part. to the uh, store and here in town and bought some any 5532 op amps that were not clones so I could put them in my little boxes of op amps so I'll have some if I need them this looks pretty good always check every single solder joint now is the time to do it make sure there's good wetting uh, sometimes the pins can get oxidized especially these uh, these displays they natively they don't like to have solder stuck to them they're they're tinned so well, that looks good to me. Definitely looks good to me. So I think what I'll do is turn it on. Just like that. And uh, see if see if those see if those displays are coming on. Those the segments, I should say. If I get all segments, um, it would be nice to have the keys on it though, but let, we'll do that second. We'll do this first, just turn it on quickly, and then we'll uh, put the um, keyboard on and we'll do a, a display test, which lights up every single segment. All right, figure out which way the what goes in. Let's try this out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Looks good to me. Looks very nice, very uniform. All right. So, let's put the let's put the keys on. And uh from there. Okay. You can go in. All right, there we go. Looking pretty good. This side, oh, that side's not going in. Here we go. You slide it over and it clicks into place. That's done. All right. Let's see here. This goes like this. Okay. Let's do the uh, do the display test. You want a better view? All right, let's turn it on. And we will do a, um, can you see that? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, we'll go into the menus. 
then we will go right, right, right to system, then we'll go down, we'll go right, right, right to test, we'll go down, and we'll hit test all, but we'll uh, hit enter, okay, and um, I think I think we don't go down now, menu bottom, yeah, um, we'll hit enter, but we'll hold it, okay, and that will keep all of the segments lit, it'll beep once in a while, but all the segments are lit. Looking good. And then it will continue the test, which does all of the electronic parts of it. Should be fine. Pass, of course. Okay, so I'll button it up and uh, put it back on the shelf. And there we go. Uh, very nice looking display. I think the character is a little crisper than that last display. The last display, the the segments were a little wider. Each of the segments was a little bit wider, and these segments are thinner. Um, so it's more it's more similar to the uh, to the Keithley. It has very very thin segments, but they're very small. I, I like this display a lot. That's why I use this uh, uh, this uh, Hewlett Packard. Um, for most of my stuff, it just because it's an easier on the eyes display. And uh, it looks very uniform now, and all the segments are lit up at equal intensities. Uh, I don't see that one segment looking any different than any of the other ones right now. So hopefully we're good for another couple decades. <laughs>